What did I say? I knew he wasn't dead. I knew it. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Bleach, A Thousand Year Blood Wars, episode 25, The Master. And the uh, last episode, um, they stormed the castle. <laughs> you have behind his... Oh my gosh, now that I say you have a I was talking to Bleach, um, I was talking to Bleach, oh my goodness. I was talking to my brother about Bleach, and then uh, I was talking about him, the last episode that I just saw, you have a and he's like, who? He said, you have a Who's that? The Queen Seeking? Oh, I, I never, he's like, he's never called, he never calls him that. And I'm like, so what do you call him? He's like, what? <laughs> It was so funny to me the way he said it. What? <laughs> that was so funny. So, oh uh, yeah, what? And his people they invaded the um <laughs> the royal palace and they were facing the uh, royal guards and all of that. And us 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 like he just killed those four like so quickly. I still think that one of them is still alive, but I guess we'll see. Um, and now Yuhabaha left the womb that was created and he, now he's like right in front of, for sure. So I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll see where this goes. And the others are still making their way to the royal palace. So yeah, that's what happened last episode. Well, and did they say that the, um, the Soul King was, uh, Yuhabaha's father? Okay. So there's that. And uh before we get into this episode, if you guys have my reaction, just give it <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash filmini. And now let's start this episode and here we go. You can't kill I've just been here replaying some of the scenes and stuff. <sighs> Like I always do in some ep during some episodes, episodes where I fully understand what's going on, I don't. But sometimes I just rewatch it because I want to. Sometimes I just rewatch it because I didn't get some parts of it. I don't quite remember exactly why I started watching. Either way, I was rewatching some of these scenes because, um, oh, well, at first I wanted to remember uh, the names of the um square zero i guess and then seeing the battle between letter d and uh oh it's you know i knew that guy was not dead man like i said in the last episode when it ended and you know, I'm like, we've never seen his ability and all of that. So I felt like he was still alive. And yes, he was. And his ability is death dealing. And apparently he can manipulate the little dosage of any substance that he wants. And in this particular case, he was manipulating the legal um, dose of your blood, of Oetsu's blood. My, now, my thing is, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> So if you have too much blood in your system, you're gonna die. I'm guessing that's that's what it means because him uh, and him slurping that blood is just the sound effect was like uh, in my ears. And um, I don't know. I'm so I've watched vampires shows and movies before, so I don't know why I'm so. This one was like yeah. Uh, either way, he was basically um, increasing the blood flow in Oesu's body and he's gonna die that way but then Oesu just like cut himself a vein or something and then the blood was like spewing out and spewing out and spewing out basically lowering lowering um the amount of blood in his system but then D is like uh if you lower it too much you're gonna die from blood loss and then that's when then Jiro showed up with his um red water you know basically replenishing Oetsu's blood you know replacing the old blood with the new blood and all that so that fixed him 
And then he just went on a an attack and killed D, you know. Now you had uh Jugo also facing um Tenjiro at one point, right? And Tenjiro defeated him. You had Uryu facing the Great Weaver and Great Weaver, even though it's not like they were dead, but they were defeated, you know. Defeated. <laughs> <laughs> basically everyone was getting defeated and then you have you have Aha facing osho and osho's was like any cut of mine is gonna it does it cuts your name um, oh okay and then he cut the arm of you and it was like now you just have r <laughs> like he took it with the m you know he only has like half half strength in his arm and stuff and then he cut his whole body and then he's like now you just you ha and baha is no more <laughs> so funny and seeing the situation you have a heart decided to well you ha decided to activate as violent and on the ground like in the serate, you see ugh, that dude, the zombie person. You see, oh, I don't want to talk about that one. They are still alive, and then us Valen was raining down on the serate, and you see people's life force, um, power being reishi. What well, either way, they were being absorbed by us Valen and. Um, the one that talks funny was like, is this how you see us? Why are you doing this to us or something? And I'm like, you guys are pawns, man. He might be saying the right word, the right words that we all something for each other. Like when he was, I don't quite remember how he phrased it. Like when Osho was telling him, so you're stealing power from your, um, subordinates or whatever and then he's like we look out for each other and something or other like that and i'm like and then he's saying that and then you see you hear jugo saying um he takes away as valent takes away the, the the life and the force whatever from the the ones that are not necessary to give it to the ones that are necessary so it's like not it not all of you are necessary to him. You know, you some of you are just pawns in his master plan. And he decides who is worthy of having uh or having the powers increase and whatnot. So I'm like, you know, you guys are just pawns. And so he was sucking away their power. And if all your powers and life was sucked away, then you die. And you see some of them, the skeletons of some of them there. But I feel like Basby and uh, that one that saved the other one are still alive. So, uh, yeah, I guess. And now he stole all their power and then redistributed to the people that are with him in the royal palace. Meaning Uryu, um, Jugo, uh... The, those four that were defeated by the squad zero now they are all alive now and then their power has been increased so it's like round two and i feel like this round two is not gonna go easy it's not gonna be easy on squad zero i don't know if they're gonna be able to defeat squad zero or if the battle is just going to be hard on them, but they're still going to defeat at least those four, the Royal Guards, not the Royal Guards. Why do I keep missing these two people, man? Uh, the four that are supposed to be protecting Wuhabaha, his guards, <laughs> including D. Now they're back up and stronger. So it's like, I don't know, man. Um... And Yuhaba had destroyed, after he absorbed all those power, he destroyed the great womb, the womb that was created. So now, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, man. And with the start of this episode with um, Kisuke waiting on uh, the... Um, I, I don't remember her name. Hiyori, 
yeah, Hiyori, Hiyori was there and with Kisuke. And I guess they were making preparations to the go to the royal palace. But um, Kisuke sent, uh, I about to say bleach. Why do I keep doing that? Ichigo and the others to the royal palace in advance. And Hiyori was not happy with that. And she's like, I hope you didn't send them there because you, you know, basically sending them to their deaths but buying time for them you know i hope you didn't do that i don't see Kisuke doing that he's not that kind of person um and then there was this girl that was running saying sister away i thought whatever she was carrying was the body of her sister <laughs> and she was bringing the body someplace to save the sister you know my first thought went to unohana you know that died after facing Kenpachi for some reason, I thought she was the sister and she was carrying the body and taking her someplace to f revive her or something or other like that. Because they didn't show the, the girl's um, face. But then it wasn't until she got to Kisuke and Kisuke called her um, Yorichi's sister that I'm like, oh, and then they showed her face. The, 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 they look alike. And she's also going there and she brought stuff that's gonna help i guess so yeah there's that and then um kyosuke was telling um nanao and another person there that he needed to cannot leave the barracks i thought he said something about going to the royal palace maybe but that's not what happened he was there and then he was talking to Ukitake and Ukitake had created something called the Kamikake and they were like they were he was doing that in preparation for when um I guess Yuhabaha invaded the royal palace I don't know what that Kumika, Kamikake thing is gonna do and then um Kyosuke was leaving is that if, am I saying the name right is it Kyosuke please tell me that I'm not saying something else like it's cute something else, but I'm like Yusuke. Let me make sure. Oh, come on, what I show? Kyoraku, see? I knew I was saying something wrong. <laughs> Am I ever gonna get his name right? Oh my goodness, Kyoraku. Kyoraku, um... Uh, was leaving and he's like, okay, where are you going? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get a drink. I don't know how all these pieces are gonna fit together, man. Like, I really don't. But yeah, that's what happened in this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, please consider supporting my picture at patreon.com slash filmini if you wanna see the um, reaction to my next. So, I believe this final episode, right? For now, of Bleach. Yeah, it'll be already uploaded there and uh, at patreon.com slash filmini. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.